Hello and welcome to the next video where we're going to model a building using CGA or computer generated architecture, which is City Engine's procedural modeling language. So in the last video, I built this building using polygonal modeling and we textured it using images from Google Street View. However, I did say there was another way you could do it and that's CGA. So in the meantime, I've gone away and created a building using CGA and I'm going to show you that now so you can place spot the difference. Okay, so this is the building I've just created using procedural modeling. I've created a new rule file, populated that, and then used those images to, uh, to model the building. You can quickly have a look at that. So one of the key differences between um, polygonal modeling and procedural modeling, uh, this entire building is one shape. I can't select any of the sides and I won't be able to edit it. Okay. It's all uh, going to go wrong if I try and do that because it's just a single single shape. So uh, how have I done that? Well, as I said, I've created a rule file and we can see that is down here. And one of the useful things to do when you're looking at CGA is to press the window button, go to layout, and then we'll go to rule programming layout. So this is what that rule file looks like. And if no one's, or if you've never used a uh, CGA or any sort of programming language before people will look at this and find it's very daunting so what we're going to do over the the next two or three videos is break this down simply so for now I'm just going to show you some of the resources I used to build this um, then I'm going to give you a quick demo where we create a simple rule from the ground up uh, one line at a time very basic and then finally I will explain all the parts that this rule is doing in order to create this building so in order to find the resources to use CGA uh, within City Engine, your best bet is to press the help button and you've got lots of useful resources in there. So there's an offline CGA and Python reference. There's a City Engine help. There's the online CGA reference and then there's tutorials and we can download tutorial and example data. There's also lots of other forums, uh, blogs and then social media sites such as YouTube. And we'll just quickly have a look at some of those now. So the first one I'll start with is a CGA reference. So CGA is its uh, is computer generated architecture and that's a city engine unique programming language. So obviously there's gonna be a lot of syntax and keywords and things that we need to get right. Uh, we don't need to remember any of that and not at first, we've got the entire reference is here for us with all these little pictures and it's all broken down into different sections which I find are really useful. So for instance, in a minute, I'm gonna show you uh, extrude where we take a shape and raise it up off the ground. You can just look at the pictures and think, okay, yeah, I want to lift that shape up. I'll press extrude. And then you're gonna get a description of the entire extrude operation. Uh, it's gonna tell you what all the key parts of that do. And then if you want to learn by actually doing, we can come down, look at the picture. Yep, I want to do that one. Uh, we can read all the information and then we can just copy the code We'll copy that straight into City Engine, press generate, something will happen, and then we can learn by doing. Okay, that's extruding by 10. What happens if I change that number 10 to a 20 and press generate? Will something change? So I find it really useful to, to learn by doing. And as I say, there's lots of them on there. We can look at uh, different geometry subdivisions. So we'll do a component split in a bit. Uh, we can texture using, again, uh, the different texture and settings, and then uh, we can add colors and things like that. So there's a lot we can do with it. All the information is there uh, available for us to find. The next one are some of the tutorials. So City Engine's got a really good set of tutorials on the Esri website. They're all numbered and named so we can go through and find the exact ones we want that are useful. Some I would really recommend, uh, Tutorial 6, Basic Shape Grammar. Uh, in that tutorial, I believe it's broken down into four parts and you modify and build these buildings, uh, as you can see here, step by step with really good and detailed explanations of each part. And again, there are sections of code which you can just copy out into your rule file, press generate, start to change uh, some of the values and see what each of those parts are doing. So really useful. Definitely tutorial six. Uh, tutorial 7, so tutorial 6 is where you basic shape grammar, where you do a building. Tutorial 7 is where you really focus in on just one single facade of a building. 
uh, and go through all the different parts. And again, there's plenty of examples in here that you can um, copy and paste into City Engine, change the values and start seeing what each of these numbers actually do. So you can either learn it by reading about it or learn, learn it by doing it. And then another really useful resource, and I don't know why I didn't mention this earlier, is City Engine TV. So if you like me and you just love learning off YouTube videos, seeing someone who knows a lot more than me about this subject doing it and explaining it, you can come onto City Engine TV, just type that into YouTube. Uh, loads of really good examples, and you can really see how the software's changed over the years as it's gone through the different versions. Um, so there's things on there like uh, collaboration between different bits of software, stuff about 360 VR. We've got um, the rule of the week. So City Engine produce uh, a new rule every week or every couple of weeks um, that can be really useful. Again, these can be downloaded uh, and pulled into your project. Um, things like wind turbines, different types of park, rural, uh, uh, formal and natural parks. Taj Mahal, different buildings, applying colour to BIM objects. And then if we come all the way down to the bottom in the videos, we can see um, different lessons for these uh, skills. So procedural modelling, uh, changing the values of these rule files. So I strongly encourage you. And there we go, look, City Engine Tutorial 6, Basic Shape Grammar. So you can have a go, download the data, have a go at the tutorial, and then watch these videos to, to really learn uh, far more than I'm going to be able to tell you in this series of a couple of videos. OK, so that's some of the resources you can get started with straight away. I'm going to go into the next video now where I just show you how to create a basic rule file. We just change some of the values and talk about some of the uh, syntax and the good procedures to use in City Engine. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for the next video.